Hi, Els here. Many external stakeholders say cash is king, a critical part of making informed decisions, and therefore an important part of the financial statements. So, for this video, we'll be developing the statement of cash flows. First, let's remind ourselves about the other financial statements and their interconnections. The income statement shows the profitability of a business. It shows the revenues and expenses over a period of time. The profit at the bottom of this statement, or loss if expenses are greater than revenues, is used in the statement of retained earnings. The statement of retained earnings shows how much of the profit is kept in the business for future growth and expansion. It adds the profit, or deducts the losses, taken from the income statement to the opening retained earnings from the prior year. After subtracting dividends, the resulting number is transferred to the equity section of the balance sheet. The balance sheet tells the story of a business, its financial position. It is divided into assets, both current and long-term. These are owned by the business. Notice that the long-term assets are subdivided into intangibles and other assets. It also shows the current and long-term liabilities, which are owed to third parties. Finally, it shows the equity, which is owed to the owners. As you can see, the closing balance on the statement of retained earnings is used in the equity section of the balance sheet. How is the balance sheet connected to the statement of cash flows? It is clear that we need profit from the income statement to get retained earnings, and retained earnings from the statement of retained earnings to get the equity on the balance sheet. Each statement creates a number for the next statement, and without that number, the statement cannot be completed. But all the numbers are complete now. Nothing is missing. So how does the statement of cash flow tie in? The statement of cash flow does not create a number. Instead, it explains how the business ended up with the cash balance that is on the balance sheet. Cash flow statements show the company's management of cash, what cash has been received or paid over a period of time. It uses the cash basis of accounting. That means the statement shows only those activities that result in a change in cash. It ignores all activities that do not involve cash. For instance, if services are sold on account, the cash flow statement would not report it. Why not? Because it did not involve cash. When you look at the statement of cash flows, you are looking at something similar to a bank account, which shows only when the cash flows in and when it flows out. To help provide information about what causes the inflow or outflow, the statement is divided into activities, financing, investing, and operating. Let's see how much you remember about the video on business activities. Pause this video and answer the question before I answer it for you. The payment of dividends is considered The answer is not A because the payment of dividends is not part of the day-to-day -day activities of a business, so it does not belong in operating activities. The answer is not B. Investing activities are all about buying and selling long-lived assets, both tangible and intangible. Dividends are not a long-lived asset. If the answer is not A or B, then the answer certainly can't be D or E either. The correct answer is C, financing activities. Remember that financing activities include contributions by owners. Dividends are the paying out of profit to the owners, so it belongs in the same category as the funding does. Let's move on to the statement of cash flows. As always, the statement starts with the business name, followed by the name of the statement. Notice that this name is the statement of cash flows, not the cash flow statement. Then the date. Notice, like the income statement and the statement of retained earnings, the statement of cash flows is for a period of time, and the date reflects that. We start with the heading Operating Activities. Any of the day-to-day -day activities that cause an inflow or outflow of cash is listed here. We can see that sales to customers resulted in a $91,760 inflow of cash, but payments to suppliers caused an outflow of cash of 63796 Notice that the outflows are placed in brackets to indicate the fact that they are outflows. Both inflows and outflows are listed separately, and the description clearly indicates the reason why it happened. This section closes with the total for this activity. Note something important. If the overall result of the activity is an inflow of cash, as it is here, we use the word provided in the subtotal. However, if the result is an outflow of cash, the word used would have been there instead. Next, the heading Investing Activities. 
This section is made up of the cash flows from the purchase and sale of long-lived assets, both tangible, like a building, and intangible, like the paying for the design of a website. Each is listed individually with a description. This is followed by a subtotal to show the inflow or, as in this case, the outflow of cash due to the investing activities. Again, notice the word used to indicate that this activity resulted in an overall outflow of cash. The last section has the heading Financing Activities. This section shows the inflows and outflows due to funding activities, such as an inflow from the owners contributing capital or an outflow due to the payment of cash dividends to the owners. Each inflow or outflow is listed individually, followed by a subtotal for the financing activities. Yet again, the word provided indicates that this activity had an overall inflow of cash. We have completed the listing of inflows and outflows by activities, so next we have to have a net increase, as in this case, or decrease in cash. How is this number determined? We take the subtotal of the operating, investing, and financing activities and add or subtract them as required to get a total, or net, change in cash. Because the statement has been divided into different slides, this is difficult to see, which is why I'm showing you how the net increase for cash of $51,110 has been determined here, on this slide. On the statement of cash flows, the net change in cash is placed immediately under the subtotal for financing activities. Notice that the subtotal must indicate if the business's overall cash position has increased, as is the case here, or decreased their cash position. In this case, the business's cash position increased. But what does that mean? Nothing until you add it to the opening cash balance from the current year. Where does this number come from? The opening cash balance from this current year is equal to the closing balance from the prior year's balance sheet. Remember, this statement is showing how cash changed between the beginning of the year and the end of the year, so we must start with the cash at the beginning of the year. Add or deduct the changes to get the cash at the end of the year. Notice that the cash balance at the end of the year is equal to the cash balance on the balance sheet in the cash account listed under current assets. You can see that clearly if we flip back to the current assets section of the balance sheet. The cash balance in the cash account is exactly the same. We have now explained how the cash balance changed over time using the three business activities. Let's take a final look at the whole statement of cash flows. We started with the title, then listed the operating activities with a subtotal, then the investing activities with a subtotal, and finally the financing activities with a subtotal. By adding all the subtotals of each activity together, we determined the net change in cash. Add or deducted from the opening cash balance to get the closing cash balance for the current year. Let's check your understanding of the statement of cash flows. Remember to pause the video before listening to my answer. The president of your business says there has been an overall increase in the cash balance over the last year and the business is doing well. You check the statement of cash flows and find that there has been an outflow under operating activities and an inflow from both investing and financing. Do you agree with the president's statement that the business has done well. The answer is B, absolutely not. Businesses, after the first few years, should see an inflow from operating activities. Operations is where the business should be making their money. Sure, a business might sell some equipment, resulting in an inflow from investing activities. Or they could borrow money so they'd get an inflow from financing activities. But the main source of cash from any business should be through their day-to-day -day operations. And that's demonstrated through the operating activities. If you can't make money by running your business, how long will the bank be willing to lend you money? Not very long. What is the statement of cash flows used for? Owners use it to determine if there is enough cash to pay out dividends. Lenders and creditors will use it to determine if the business debts can be paid as they come due, or if the business will need to borrow more cash. Finally, everyone uses the statement to predict future cash flows. That helps them to make informed decisions. The cash flow was the last statement in our series of videos on the financial statements. Thank you for joining me. 
I hope these videos have helped you to learn all about the structure and interconnection between the four financial statements.